If you're looking to be a Technomancer and be in the thick of the battle soaking up all the enemy's bullets, you'll want to use the Shaman Skill Tree. This video will go over all the skills and synergies within the Shaman Tree, as well as some potential build directions. The Shaman Skill Tree focuses heavily on gadgets, and these would be the Cryo Turret, Healing Wave, and Cold Snap. Cold Snap and Cryo Turret will be heavily focused on in this tree, as many of the skills increase the duration and damage of freezed enemies. Looking at the first skill in the tree, Anomalous Body, this will increase your HP by 10%. It's pretty basic, but nice. At the first junction, there is the Anita Plates, which increases your resistance by 20%. And then we have Gadgeteer, which reduces gadget cooldowns by 15%. I think here, it depends if you want more survivability or turret freezing capabilities. Personally, I would lean toward Gadgeteer. I wanna make sure that I'm freezing everything on the battlefield. We come to another anomalous body. And from here, we can go down into the destruction tree with Winner's Barrier Link skill, which happens to be a keystone skill, which gives you 40% damage mitigation after using your melee for three seconds. I actually think this is a crazy skill, and I feel like it should have been part of the actual Shaman Tree, but it doesn't mention if it pops after every melee, so we'll have to wait and see if it can be permanent or not. And from here, it links to Soul's 56 Freezing Tanks, which increases your freeze from Cold Snap or your Crowd Turret by 20%. I want to talk about freeze real quick and why I think it's in the tank tree. I don't think there's any ability in Outriders that's a taunt ability. And if you don't know what a taunt ability is, it's an ability that forces enemies to attack you. So I find that freezing them will be vitally important in Outriders to make sure you keep the enemies around you and not in your teammates doing all the damage, as the freezing skill will be the easiest way to control them. So at the next junction, we have armor plates, which obviously increase your armor, but by 20%. And we have fracture which will increase damage by 10% on enemies who are affected by Freeze. I'm telling you, Freeze is about to be the bread and butter of the Shaman Technomancers. We have another anomalous body, and from here we have two Keystones abilities that we can grab. Senior Engineer, which will increase turret HP by 100%, which sounds crazy helpful. And then we have Exposing Frost, which will give enemies with Freeze effect vulnerable. And then this leads to Marked for Execution, making vulnerability on the frozen enemies 40% more effective. And like I said in my Pestilence video, I think vulnerability will increase the chances of critical hits. So if you have these on frozen enemies, they will definitely die very quickly. Moving on here, we have more armor plates and Souls 56 freezing tanks, leading into a suction module, which increases weapon leash by 5%. Another armor plate leading to another keystone skill, medical unit. Using a gadget will increase all healing received by you and your party members by 30% for seven seconds. I really think this skill is gonna be a must have. This could be a savior in a boss fight. And then this leads to another keystone skill, Doctor of Medicine. Increasing all healing done by you and your allies by 20% passively. Now, this is very cool since you don't actually have to activate it. You will always passively have a 20% healing on you. The last junction is Vitality Magnet, which increases skill leash by 6%, which I think means damage from your skills will revert to 6% healing on you. And Fracture one more time which means more freeze damage by 30% of those affected by freeze. And ending the shaman tree is the skill Overclocked, which is probably the coolest skill in the entire tree. Activating a gadget skill increases anomaly power and weapon damage by 40% for 10 seconds, and give you a second chance at life with 50% HP if you do end up dying, but it does have a three minute cooldown. This ability is insane. Not only increasing damage by all sources, it will revive you if you end up dying, now, looking at the entire tree, it'll take 13 points, just like the Pestilence tree, to get to the last skill. And if you are interested in that Pestilence tree video, I will link that below, and it'll also be at the end of the video. But in this tree, there's two keystone skills that I think are very mandatory. These would be either Senior Engineer, and Exposing Frost, and Medical Unit. Maybe even all three. I think these provide a lot of value for your abilities. The only one that might be cut out though is Senior Engineer as we don't know how much 100% increase on the HP will actually help the turret. But the other two I think are very beneficial. And if you're taking Exposing Frost, why not take Marked for Execution as well for even more damage to frozen enemies. So now we're sitting with 15 to 17 points used depending on how you went with those four skills. So if we have three to five points to use around, you could totally grab more in the Shaman Tree as well. Maybe you want some extra armor and resistance so you can grab those too. But I think the big gain here would be getting Winter's Barrier, which is the 40% damage mitigation when you melee, and then get the Souls 56 for the longer freeze. I really think maxing the freeze duration and damage is going to make the Shaman Technomancer so good. It's made for the gadget's abilities Cryo Turret, Cold Snap, and Healing Wave, 
And these would be the exact three abilities that I would probably use with the Shaman Technomancer. Always being able to freeze and increase DPS on those enemies with an insane healing ability is going to be extremely vital. You could grab Wipeout too, which means enemies below 30% HP take 20% more damage, and then from there grab more anomaly power, but I don't find that very helpful. I find the Shaman Tree to be very straightforward, and not much moving around into the other trees to be beneficial. The Shaman Tree is definitely locked in as a survivability tree. I like a lot of the skills and the focus on freezing enemies. A Technomancer spec Shaman will definitely help a team in Outriders. Someone who is willing to take all the damage is welcome to my team anytime. If you guys see any other ideas for the Shaman build, let me know in the comments. A like on the video would be greatly appreciated. I hope to see all you Shaman Technomancers out there when the demo drops and beyond. And until next time, peace.